All right, so Tuesday's game, the Cavaliers at the Nets. And the reason why I'm going to pick the Nets is because of this code known as Gamatria, which is the practice of coding letters and words into numerical values. So let's get into it. If you've seen these videos, you already know what you're looking at. <clears throat> and right here, I have a few sites open. Um, it seems like StatMuse updates the records quicker than Sports Reference because right now, Sports Reference has um, Bickerstaff still at 155 wins and he became 156 wins today against uh, Milwaukee Bucks, which Milwaukee Bucks equals 156. So this site right here is a little behind, um, but StatMuse seems to be on point. So I apologize for the confusion here. So right now, uh, these are the correct stats. 156 and 225 for Bickerstaff. 44 wins and 38 losses for Nash. And if you look at StatMuse over here, being that it's not updated, the Nets did win tonight. So right now, Steve Nash is 92 and 62. So the reason why... I believe he's going to become 93 and 62 is because measuring from his day, well, there's a few things actually. So let me just uh, start out by this. So it's 33 days after Bickerstaff's birthday and it's 64 days after Nash's birthday. But I also decided to type out 93 because I feel like Nash will pick up that 93rd win on Tuesday. And what do you know? 93 does something to 62. And if you look at the statistics right over here, you know, um, StatMuse doesn't show Nash's two seasons combined. It shows his 2022 season. So, if we look at his overall uh, record with the Brooklyn Nets, he does have 92 and 62. And the 62, you know, being 93, because right now this site hasn't updated, so technically he's 92 and 62. If he wins on Tuesday, which he probably will, he'll be 93 and 62. And again, 93... When you spell it out with words, it equals 62 in the numerology cipher. The cipher that matters probably the most. All right. All right. 64 days after Nash's birthday. And Brooklyn Nets does equal 64 down there. We can see that. And look at this. Brooklyn Nets equals 154. You can see it right there. And 93 equals 154. So how perfect is that, right? Pretty perfect, per 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 perfect. So I like that already just by looking at that. I like that a lot. I like, I like a lot. Now, I guess we could type in what 62 equals and see if there's anything that might give us a clue. So 62 is 38. And let's see... 62 is 38. Hmm. 62 is 38. There is a 38 date numerology for the 12th. Bingo. Ba 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 bingo. Big bingo. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. So I do know that the light the light blue cipher right here, numerology and the dark blue cipher are probably Two of the most important ciphers because they revolve around numerology. Okay, so we got that. And we could say, you know, uh, we know that Bickerstaff increased to 156 wins tonight. Now we can check some stuff like that. We know he's 156 and 225. So let's see. 
Let's spell it out. One, fifty, six. Look at that. One fifty six is sixty fucking two. Holy shit. And ninety three. Wow, it matches. Wow, holy shit. So check this out, guys. You see it on the screen. Okay. So 156 does equal 62 in the numerology cipher and 55. And, you know, 93 equals 62 and 55. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So I just sometimes I like to play around and add words because, I mean, some people say 156. So I like to just check things like that. And, you know, again, see, uh, today, well, today is still the 100th day of the year. So, 156 does equal 100, and he became 156 today. So, there's some rhyme and reason to what I'm showing here. You know, um, I'm obviously decoding the game for the 12th, but... If you look, and you just type in April 10th, it is the 100th day of the year. So, case in point made. I would love anyone to try to debate me with this stuff. Honestly, like, you know, it's just... It's just almost impossible. But, uh... Yeah, see, look, 156 and 226. So, look at this. Look how perfect this is. So... The Cavaliers coach, right, he's going to lose to the Nets on Tuesday, staying at 156 wins and becoming 226 losses. And again, look at how perfect this stuff sinks, guys. You can't make this shit up. So sometimes that's important. And again, there's the, there's the saying that I grew up with. I grew up in an Italian family. You know, my mom always used to tell me, do I got to spell it out for you? And, you know, I never understood what that meant. But again, you know, and I don't think she really knew about this, but uh, it is interesting. And um, that's amazing. I can't believe what I just found for you guys. Wow. Holy shit. So, yeah, the Nets are definitely going to win. Um, Not just because of the Gematria. Well, maybe it is just because of the Gematria, but I know that they are the better team. But um, again, you know, that's just how it works. Let's see if we find anything with... 226. Let's see. 226. 93. Is there any 93s here? I don't see any 93s. Any 222s? Nothing there. Any 96s? The only thing I see with the 96 is it is a, it is a reflection of 69. And Bickerstaff is born on the 69th day of the year. So, and Cleveland Cavaliers does also equal 69. So, that's important to note there. Um, hmm. Not a prime number. Let's just see when we take away the 100 wording, what we generate in this Gematria calculator. Hmm, that's interesting. 55, huh? 55 and 62. Look, that's, that's the theme. This entire video was 62, you know, uh, yeah, pretty much 62, this whole video. And, um, you know, the other important uh, connection is the 156 equal in 226. That's amazing. That's always... Something that blows my mind when I view this stuff. And uh, let's see. I know I've seen 55. 156 does equal 55 and 62 down there, as you can see. And again, 226, 55 and 62. And, um, you know, that's just that's just what I've seen so far with this particular uh decode here um let's see 200 wow that's amazing dude 
But see, it always, it always, it always syncs up, guys. I mean, if this is a coincidence, I don't know, man. I would get your brain checked if you think this is all coincidental stuff. And uh, it also makes sense for Steve Nash to stay on 38 uh, losses on the 38-day numerology. I don't think him being born on the 38th day of the year matters because at any given time that could hit. But, um, you know, a lot of people would say, you know, that for a lot of things. 107 is the 28th prime. There's nothing there. And then sometimes you might want to check if there's any, like, um, 124s. And the reason why I say that is it's the 12th day of the fourth month. So there might be a 124 lingering around somewhere. But you always want to look at patterns like that. And, um... You know, Brooklyn also won today, too. Look, you know, on 10 slash 4. So those are important patterns to note at all times. Um, all right, I'm going to wrap it up with this particular game and decode because there's not much else here for me to prove. But just know that I'm uploading this video two days before the game. And there's no way this is hindsight. So... If you're gonna if you're gonna take a pick, I mean, obviously, even without the Gematria, the Nets are definitely the way better team than Cavaliers. But this is just something that puts the nail in the coffin here. Uh, let's see, thirty three days after the Cleveland coach's birthday, I know Cleveland's thirty three, right? Cleveland is thirty three, and. If you include the end date, it's 34, which I don't see no 34s here. So, yeah. All right, well, that's going to do it for um, this particular breakdown. And every game, guys, is like this, you know? I don't know if it's going to be perfect like this, like when you spell out certain things. But, um, you know, again, I'm looking for the numerology connections. I've seen all those. And again, you know, if you guys think this is a coincidence, I mean, drop some comments in the uh, comment box and, you know, leave me, you know, um, your comments as to why you think this is a coincidence. I mean, I'm open to all ideas. So again, you know, we're trying to get to the bottom of this, guys. We're trying to get to the bottom of it. But, again, if the Nets win on Tuesday, which probably they will, this will probably, you can come back on the channel and view this video, and this could probably help make sense of why that happened. But, uh, yeah, there's no way in hell the Cavaliers would beat the Nets anyways, but... <laughs> uh, unless it was, like, some crazy shit like today with the Bucks and the Cavaliers, and, like, what I showed earlier with, you know, Milwaukee Bucks equaling 156, just in case you don't want to take my word for it. See how Milwaukee Bucks equal 156? You see? Do you see? And again, Bickerstaff became 156 today. So against the Bucks. So Okay. See you guys on the next one. Peace.